This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the properties of metals and non-metals. We'll start the video by looking at the position of the metals and the non-metals on the periodic table. The elements shaded in light blue are metals. The elements shaded in yellow are non-metals. And the elements shaded in purple are metalloids. The metalloids will be covered in more detail in a later video. So as we can see, the majority of the elements on the periodic table are metals, which can mainly be found on the left and in the middle of the periodic table. The non-metals are found on the right side of the periodic table. Note that hydrogen is a non-metal, despite being located on the left in group 1. So next, we'll look at the physical and chemical properties of the metals and non-metals. First, we'll look at the physical properties. Starting with the state at room temperature. Metals are solids at room temperature, with the exception of mercury which is a liquid. Non-metals are mostly gases at room temperature. Note that some non-metals exist as solids, such as sulphur and phosphorus. And one element, bromine, is a liquid at room temperature. Next we have their appearance. Metals have a metallic luster, which basically means they are shiny. Non-metals, on the other hand, are dull. Metals are malleable and ductile, which means they can be bent into shape and made into wires. Non-metals, however, are brittle. Metals have high electrical conductivity, whereas non-metals have poor electrical conductivity. In terms of their densities, metals have high densities, whereas non-metals have low densities. And finally, we have ionization energy and electronegativity. Metals have low ionization energies and low electronegativity values. Non-metals have high ionization energies and high electronegativity values. Next we look at chemical properties. Metals tend to lose electrons to form positive ions, whereas non-metals tend to gain electrons to form negative ions. Metals behave as reducing agents and non-metals behave as oxidizing agents. In terms of their bonding, metals form ionic bonds with non-metals. In addition to forming ionic bonds with metals, non-metals form covalent bonds with other non-metals. And finally, metals form basic oxides, and non-metals form acidic oxides. So that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll be looking at the properties of the metalloids.